and welcome to this very first video of the Open Home Automation YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how you can use the Arduino Wi-Fi shield to read out uh, the state of a button, which could be like a door sensor or window sensor that tell you if your window is open in your home. And I will show you how to record this value directly into your browser to see if somebody has broken in into your home or if, if some window of your home has been opened. So here we go. So the first step is hardware configuration and what you can see here is the Arduino board. So what I just did now is to plug in the wireless uh, shield into my Arduino Uno board and then I will place this small push button into the breadboard. The next step is to connect this resistor uh, right into the breadboard and it will be used to uh, the pull down resistor for the digital input pin. Then we have to put some wires. So first off, uh, the ground wire directly into the ground of the Arduino board. Then the next one to connect is the positive power supply which I connect to the 5 volt on the Arduino board. And finally there is this middle pin which I will connect here with an orange table uh, into the pin number 2 of the Arduino board. So now at this point the hardware is completely configured and we are ready to write software. Okay, so at this point your hardware should be all set up and we can start by testing the individual components. So the first one is the uh, Arduino Wi-Fi shield. So what I just did is I loaded the official uh, stage for the WPA uh, networks which will just check if uh, we have a wireless connection. So I will just upload this sketch into my Arduino board and it's done. And then I will open the serial monitor which should open to show us some information about the network. So that's the name of my network and now it should just connect and display information and here we go. And so this is Sino Strands, you have the IP address and this one is quite important you should note it down and we'll use it in the rest of the tutorial. Now back to the hardware for a bit because I want to show you what the shield is doing when it's working correctly. And you can see that this little LED, the link LED is blinking in green, which indicates that you successfully establish a link between the board and your wireless router. So at this point, if you see this, everything is going well. Okay, so now we tested the, the wireless uh, shield and we'll now test our um, hardware system for the, the small push button. And you can see I have a very simple Arduino script. I connected the button to the pin number two. I just read it via this digital read function and I, I print the state of the button um, on my serial monitor and I wait for some time. And now I just upload the sketch. Okay, it's done. And now I will open my serial monitor. And you can see that I have I have a lot of zeros. So every millisecond I made a new reader a new reading and for now the state is zero because I didn't press it. And now I will just go into press the button. And as you can see, instantly it changed to 1. So I, I still have my finger on, on the button. I release it. And I can see the button is working just right. Okay, so now we can have a look at the final script and see how we will make the software for this project. So it's again based on the official um, Arduino script uh, to connect to wireless network and what you have here in the loop is we actually look if we have um, a client which connects to, um, to our server which is running on the Arduino board and 
This client vulnerable will be our computer that will access directly the Arduino board with the wireless shell. And if a client is present, what we do is we create this very simple HTML page to answer um, the client. And we check, you can see here, we check this door status. And if it's false, we just print that everything's okay on the browser. If it's uh, true, it means something uh, pushed the button, which means, for example, in home automation that the door has been opened. And then we print um, alerts that the door has been opened. Now, the only thing uh, left we have to see is how do we get this door status. And you can see that there's a function here, set door status, but this just sets the door status to, to, to true. So how do we get the status from the door or the push button? Well, it's all done actually in in the setup. And <coughs> sorry about that. In the setup, you can see that now I use this attach interrupt function um, to set the, the button status. And why I'm doing that? Well, in the, in the previous example, I just used a G digital read. But if you do that, while the client is um, accessing to your page, the Arduino is busy to uh, send the answer. And in the, in the meantime, the status of your button uh, could change. And this means, for example, that somebody entered um, your home via a door or a window and you, you didn't detect it. So I use this interrupt of the Arduino board, which means whenever there is a rising edge, so whenever the status of this button goes from 0 to 1, I automatically call the set door status function, which will interrupt the code. Um, for example, if a client is transiting, it will just interrupt the code and directly go to this set door status function. So this this really made sure that our code is working properly. And now I can just um, try it. So I will upload this code. Let's just go back to the hardware for a bit. And you can see now that when I'm accessing the board with my browser, which I will show you in a moment, you can see that this other LED, the blue one, is now blinking, which means the board is being accessed um, remotely via the, the wireless. So now uh, we can just go to the browser and make sure that everything is working well. And if you remember, I told you to write down the IP address of your Arduino board, and this is what we will need now. So just type in the IP address. So for me, it was this one, and it just tell me everything's okay. And now I will push the button actually. So I'm pushing the button right now, and the state to just change. And we go, it says alert, the door has been opened because I just pushed the, um, the press the push button on the Arduino board. And the cool thing about this, just close my browser, put the code again, and the cool thing about this is that now the Arduino board is still connected to my computer, but this really doesn't depend on your computer. So you can just um, plug the Arduino board and the wireless shield to any power source and it will just work by itself. And that's, that's really, I think, a great advantage of this uh, wireless shield for the Arduino board. So that's already the end of this first video on our channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't hesitate to comment right here on YouTube and go on uh, the corresponding article on our website at openhomeautomation.net. I included the link in the YouTube video description. And on our website, don't hesitate to comment, to modify this project, and then to share it. That's the whole idea of, uh, of my website. Thank you, and see you on the next time.